Oh my gosh. I'm going to get you a replay, but I didn't know he had that in him. Uh, Israel Madrimov just stopped Magomed Kaburnov. Um, I didn't know he had that in him. You know, uh, so far, pretty solid card, long card. I've been here since uh, 10 a.m. It is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4.07 exactly, actually. Uh, Joshua Ngannou undercard next is Ray Vargas taking on Nick Ball. Then Joe Parker versus Big Bang CCP, J. Lee Zhang. And then we're going to have the main event, Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. But this was for the WBA tied at 154 pounds. Jamal Charlo, excuse me, Jamel Charlo is now the champion in recess. Kurbanov actually got screwed out of a WBO shot a few years ago, a couple years ago, in favor of Tim Zhu because Tim Zhu was more popular. No bullshit. Here's the replay. He was already shaky earlier in the fight. Actually, in the same round, that's the first time he was shaky. And then Kurbanov, um, excuse me, Madrimov smelled blood. And then that same right hand looking, it's going around the guard. Those are the type of shots you got to stop or you can get the fighter hurt. Look, it goes around the guard. That's the first one. So he's already, he's out of it. By the way, I keep cutting back like that because of uh, you'll get copyrighted. Yeah, that's a crazy shot. So the 154-pound division is actually starting to get some new blood into it. You know, with Terrence Crawford being now rumored to face uh, Chris Eubank Jr. at 160, it makes you wonder um, where the 154-pound division stands right now, who's going to be the next top dog. Now, we are going to be looking at the rankings. This is live real time, so I have to let it play through. He just did this crazy-ass flip. I want to uh, rewind it. Let's go look at it again in full screen. Watch this. I'm not a fan of when fighters do that, though. It's like, hey, bro, like, I understand you're athletes, but, you know, don't be blowing your knees. One day that's going to happen. You know, not to jinx anybody, but somebody's going to blow their knee. So we're going to listen to the post-fight interview and actually talk about what's next in the 154-pound division. Jamel Charlo, I don't think he's coming back to 154 pounds. Um, he's now been relinquished of, uh, of uh, three of his belts, the WBO, Tim Zhu has it. Uh, Jack Kouke and the longtime mandatory for the IBF, Bakr and Murtazaliev, are going to be fighting sometime soon. And um, you have uh, Sir Sergei Bahachok and Sebastian the Disco Tall Inferno uh, Fandora fighting on the Keith Thurman Tim Zhu undercard in three weeks for that WBC interim title and expect for them to be uh, upgraded. Right Let's listen in. Take your time out. Like the video. Saudi Arabia, Saturday, May 18th. Here's Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 20 seconds of round number five. Our referee in charge, Steve Gray, steps in, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner, by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and now the WBA Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Israel, the Dream Madrimov. And you can see behind him, AJ. We're going to listen to uh, the post fight interview and talk about uh, uh, what's next from a dream of possibly. I'm going to look at the rankings, but it's definitely a division now that could possibly be undisputed. No real politics involved until you get to Sebastian Fandora and uh, Sergei Bahachuk. You know, it's a shame it's got to be like that in boxing. But dude, it's good. So to explain, so to explain briefly who the fighters are as their styles, Madrimov is more of a boxer. Boxer, boxer, you know, uh, 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 good amateur record to where Kurbanov more the boxer punch or brawler. So basically, Madrimov is a much more technically sound fighter. And as you can see with his punch placements, dude's pretty, he's pretty good. Let's hear what they have to say, what's possibly next for them. And he's been a long time mandatory as well until he met up with uh, uh, Michael Soro. Fantastic amateur career. You're now a world champion in the professional ranks. Sum up the feelings for us right now. Israel, поздравляем. Потрясающее выступление, отличная любительская карьера. 
теперь чемпион мира. Несколько чувств своих, которые сейчас испытываешь. Ассаляму алейкум, рахматуллах, баракат, Саудия. Алхамду лиллах, алхамду лиллах, раббил лиллах, аламин. You know, I'm great, great feeling, you know. This moment, I'm waiting long time when 2018 start debut, pro debut. I want this title, but alhamdulillah, now I'm here, Saudi, and then this belt mine, it's great. This belt coming to Uzbekistan. Our commentary team said that you were punch perfect. That was the best performance. I think I want to identify as being um, uh, Uzbaksi, Uzbekistanian. What do you guys think? More, more. <laughs> I, I do, inshallah, because my first title, and then uh, I need four belts because uh, I can more tactic. You know, because this fight, uh, I'm. Готовился долго. Готовился этот long time uh, training camp and uh, more uh, setting. You know, uh, I was uh, fighting this year, is November or December, but this uh, fight March. Alhamdulillah, but I do more Lara. Before I bring in your promoter, Eddie Hearn, I want to ask you what next? Obviously, Jamel Charlo is the champion in recess. There are so many other great fighters out there. We are going to see Tim Zhu versus Keith Furman. So many other fantastic 154-pounders. Who do you want next? Who do you see next? There is Jamel Charlo, who is the champion in the season. Tim Zhu against Keita Turman. Maybe some names are in your mind. It doesn't matter. Who wants champions? I do. I, I make fight everything, inshallah. Eddie, I can see you smiling. I know these are the type of fighters you like that will simply fight anyone. Again, I, I go to that June 1st tournament. Potentially, this is a man, surely, that can be on that June 1st tournament. No, this is, a, this is a massive win. I mean, it's a massive win for Israel, for Matram, for The Zone. Um, shout out as well to World of Boxing, Max, Vadim, Andre Rybinski. It's been a long time and difficulty getting him the fights. This guy is an animal. Uzbek power. People talk about he's a, a young Gennady Golovkin. He is the new Gennady Golovkin. He walked through Kurbanov 25 and 0 with ease. And nothing less than undisputed at 154 pounds is the plan. Terence Crawford, Tim Zhu, some unbelievable fights. And this guy is going to go back to Uzbekistan as a hero. And they should welcome him with a massive fight in the summer. Want to keep him nice and busy, defend this title. But as I said, remember the name. Everyone in here tonight, everyone watching on the zone around the world, Uzbek Power, the new 154-pound world champion, Israel, the dream Madrimov. He's coming for all the belts in the division. Israel, final word from yourself. The fans love you here. Are we going to see you again fighting Saudi Arabia? Uh, I like to. Uh, you know, this uh, from Muslim, from my brother, from because. When his fight, I'm ready all the time, all the time. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. I want next fight here too. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uzbekistan halk hamane galaba blan tabrikli man. Oso namge rahmat ketrakon. Uzbekistan shunaka doğla blan har dom kolla kozlagan halkumuzge rahmat. Prezidentimizge rahmat. Uzbekistan har dom kolla kozlagan otbeke umar sizga Allah kolla blan tabrikliz blan. Azamake azushi rahmat ketrakon. Alaba muvarek bu sahamaga. Karındaşlar, o sebeke adüşi rahmet sizge kettik on. Uzbekistan tabrikli ve kalaba bulan. Congratulations, the new 154-pound WBA champion. Very quickly, just to translate a bit of what he said for us. Možeš pažasta pirvisti, što tiče skala na Uzbekistan. Thank you, my from Uzbekistan, my family, my friends, you know. This here, my coaches, beautiful, strong coaches, Joel Diaz, thank you. My uh, thank you, <coughs> my promoter uh, Andre Ribinski, World of Boxing, Matchroom <coughs> Eddie Heron, my manager Vadim Karnirov, my team uh, World of Boxing, Joel Diaz, trainer, uh, <coughs> Benjamin Hernandez, Tolkan Kalichev, Hamage Katakaram, Alex Fralov.
I am not trying to be disrespectful, but he already said it in his native tongue. You know, so let's talk about it. Um, I'm thinking that Tim Zoo, I'm all spitting and shit. I'm thinking that Tim Zoo might end up with Matchroom or Golden Boy. I'm not sure how much longer No Limit can hold on to him, especially if he wants to be an American star or like a global superstar. You know, and that's just the facts right there. That's just the facts right there, you know. Uh, I can see a unification happening. And right now, PBC doesn't have the same stranglehold that they used to have on the 147, 154 pound divisions. They don't anymore. You know. Hit the shit out of him. Almost took his head off. Also, dude is good. Let me tell you something. So, you also have the Virgil Ortiz factor. I'm looking at the wrong thing. You also have the Virgil Ortiz factor who's now up there. And do not be surprised if the WBA try to get him a title shot as well. So as I said, you're going to have Sergei, Sergei uh, 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 Bahanchak taking on Sebastian Fendor for the WBC interim title. Jamel Charlo, do not be surprised if he's made champion in recess by the WBC too. Um, but if he comes back, he will have to face the winner of Fendor versus Bahanchak. I can possibly see that. Um, Madrimov, do not be surprised... If they try to put him in there against Virgil Ortiz or James Metcalf. Remember, he's a champion, so he's got to fight somebody in the top uh, 15. That's how it works. So he's got to fight somebody in the top 15 of the WBA. Uh, or he could possibly go for a unification whenever this fight happens. Bakwari Murtazalia versus Jack Kuki. But if Jack Kuki for the vacant IBF title, that title should have been stripped from Jamel Charlo a long time ago. And then you have what Tim Zhu is doing, but he may have a possible fight with Terrence Crawford if he beats Keith Thurman on March the 30th. Terrence Crawford also is being heavily rumored to be finalizing a deal to fight Chris Eubank Jr. at 160 pounds. Shut the dream off, though. Um, um, I've covered about four fights of his. This by far, this I'm not going to say by far, but it's the biggest win of his career. I guess it is by far. Uh, uh, looking at his competition because obviously, you know, he doesn't have a lot of pro fights. A lot of fighters don't want to fight him, but now he's got a championship, so the fighter's going to have to come to him. Uh, take your time out, like the video, subscribe. I am T Street Controversy with Fight View 360.